Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims 3 World Adventures, where I'm here with Indiana Aries as he's reading a logic book. We're in the middle of a tomb, or, well, I guess not really a tomb, a underground library that is full of locked doors that Indiana has been hired to um, look through, to search through for a relic, um, it's a book, I think? Yeah. The Book of the Free Relics. We need to find that book and get it to somebody. So, Indiana, you need to stop reading, and we need to continue searching through this tomb. I believe when we push this on here, well, we know when we push the, this statue on this switch, they open this door. So it's one of the two routes you can take. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, anything in here to actually do? No, it's just straight down. Got it. You want to open a chest? Well, <laughs> guess you're going to. I do want to continue searching through this whole tomb, even though we've already found the relic that we were looking for. The book. Um, because there's got to be a loop in here somewhere. And I want him to come back to this room and switch which switch is active, because I think it'll open this door and close this one. I don't know how to open this door, though. I don't know, I'm sure it will be revealed at some point. So, pull this. Come on, stop eating. Not the time for eating, Indiana. Push. Push. Is that push again? Okay, cool. And is it gonna open the door I thought it would? Yep. Okay, go through here. And it's gone and locked this one now. Oh, it's just a switch. Great. <laughs> Great. Mm. And that's opened this door, but we can't go back in that room because we just locked it, so we're going to have to push this back over. Oh god, so much walking around. I'm, I'm glad I'm not Indiana right now. I do want him to get his exploring outfit back on and not his casual outfit, but I don't have one that's good for this, I guess. I don't know. The one he has looks more like it's casual. Casual, but here, you know? Like, that's not good for exploring tombs, <laughs> like his old one was. Right, go through this door, and then go through this door. And hopefully we get more treasure. Ooh, the game's running a bit slow today, that's not very good. In fact, it's frozen entirely right now, but it's fine. It's just confused at what it's loading. This is such a big expansion pack that I'm, su I'm not surprised that this bad. Did you not even use your hands to open that one? That's why he didn't use his hands to open that chest then. Okay, we're done. Let's get out of here. Go deliver this book. Oh, I've got the sniffles today. That's not fun. Come on. Yeah, I'm tired too, Indiana. Okay. Hello, I have your book. Ah, I'm not talking. Yes, this book describes three powerful relics left hit here by the old kings of Al Samara. There are a lot of there's a lot of information that we can use to track down the final relic. Luckily, I already know where the other one is. Unfortunately, so does Morkor. There's no time to explain, but you must go to the merchant book the shed. I don't know before Morkor goons arrive and obtain the relic of the sun, which is the merchant's possession. It's in the merchant's possession. I'll explain more later. Just go. I swear we're working for more corp at some point, but it's fine. We're, we switch allegiances now. We're doing whatever. For the story, I suppose. Go, go, go! Ask about the first relic. We should probably get to know the dude first. He might not let us. So, a uh, friendly introduction. Time to spend another episode making friends. Isn't that just brilliant? Looks like we've already got some sort of friendship started. I don't know how, but <laughs> we're just that good at it. So she don't even have to tell a few jokes and then we'll be best buds for life. Yep, there we go. I'm not becoming good friends with her, that's just too much effort. Okay, race to Papa. Ah, so help me have have fun. <laughs> Wants me to hand over this relic? Yeah, I have no use for it, but you do. Which means there is a value in this piece. I judge this piece to be about five chunks of copper. 
Bring me this and I will hand over the relic. You have best hurry though and may get a better offer. Well, it's a good job we already apparently have some copper on us, so... There you go. <laughs> the copper is much appreciated, but I will put it in... But the copper is much appreciated. I will put it to good use. Unlike this relic, I've been hoarding for so long. Here, enjoy it. Take it back to whoever, to whoever sent you here. Yes, I know something is going wrong around here. Don't take those locals for idiots. Okay, let's go deliver it. There's a lot of uh, trekking back and forth. It's fine. Ooh. Are you just ready to harvest? Okay. Preparing the bribe. You have made the right choice helping me out. I will tell you the truth. I work for an organization that wants to stop me from exploiting this land. You could really use your help. If you want to sign on, um, there's more work need to be done. We need to buy you time to explore the next tomb, which means we must bribe more corpse henchmen. Explore the sands around the town. But yeah, that is what it says. Okay, explore the sands around the town to find two pieces of Mummitationium, oh god, Mummitationium, which, <laughs> with which to bribe the more corp demons. Bring, bring that back to me. Oh god, I remember this being so hard to find. Apparently really hard to pronounce. I mean, it's gonna say where it is on the map, but... <laughs> the chances of, it sh of two pieces showing up right now is fairly slim. Because it's really rare. And by the looks of it, yeah, we didn't get lucky. Fine, fine, okay. Well, actually, what I want to do then, if we're not allowed to explore a tomb just yet, I want to go and visit one of these, like, little pretty landmark things, like this place. Is it called? Visit the water in the sand. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, that, that is what it is. But I want to go, like, visit places and go camp out somewhere that's actually pretty and not just a communal camping area. And that is exactly what he wants to do, because it's 4 a.m. He hasn't slept at all since he got here, and that's uh, not good. Oh, okay, then we just went past the camp inside there. Um, sure. <laughs> Let's go camp right by the pyramid, though, because that's fun. Oh, he's so tired. No, you were so close. You're kind of close. Come on, you can do it, bud. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, wait, nope. <laughs> that thought he'd already gone up. Indiana! Don't pass out in a desert, that's not a good idea. That's not going to end well. <laughs> that's a shipwreck down there. Hello, shipwreck. Why does it look like you have a castle on you? Oh, no. Come on, Indiana. We've got places to go. You can sleep once you get there. Promise. This is so pretty. I want to visit Egypt so bad. I've never been in Egypt. I want to visit real Egypt. I know obviously it's not going to look like this, but... Egypt? Is that a cool glowy gem I see? Is that turquoise? I swear if that's turquoise. <laughs> I think it is. Okay, go collect that, and then I'm going to place the tent down somewhere where we can sleep. Can we sleep anywhere here? <laughs> is there a flat on the ground? Anywhere. doesn't look like it. <laughs> uh, why? Nope. Nope. Hey, my V button worked for once. Okay, this is like the, the most realistically flattest ground here, so let's just put it here. Then you can go to sleep. Now, see you guys when he wakes up. Indiana, it's midday. We should probably fix your sleeping schedule. Just get up. <laughs> You've pretty much slept all, all slept up. You can join the locals fishing, because that's apparently what you do here. Is you fish. And you, you've got quite the knack for fishing, I think, Indiana. You've done it before. You can, <laughs> you can apparently sing while fishing. <laughs> Indiana... Probably not the best thing to <laughs> Okay, Indiana, sure. Apparently when they know a song and they're just standing still, they just...
will just sing. And he won't stop. Stop with the hand motions. Oh. Oh, he <laughs> didn't get anything. Come on, cast again. Oh, okay, well, you're, you're useless at this, Indiana, honestly. <laughs> you're pretty bad. Um, <laughs> any mummy any mummy young yet? No? Any mummy crystals? Okay, fine. Fine, let's go visit the market. There's always people at the market. Go! Or, wait, no, I have a better idea. I. It's not technically a tomb. I want to go visit deserts, and that's. About them. I mean, yeah, I guess, technically. I think it's going to run better if I just keep it up here. We can watch little Indiana's. Bob Bill thing. My god, he's running all of this. Now he's on a bike. <laughs> and now he's running, and now he's on a bike, and there we go. Could have biked the whole thing, really. Um, but I think there's just this really creepy. I don't know where those two have just been running from, but there's this really creepy tomb under here. There's just a giant room filled with absolutely nothing. I mean, once you clear this stuff out, there's nothing here. Nothing below that. Nothing below that. And then there's just these two sarcophaguses. You can either sleep in or woohoo in, and that's it. Like, I never understood what this place is. There's incense that you can burn, but you know. That's <laughs> literally it. I don't. I don't get it. I really don't. It doesn't even give you a mood look for the incense. It's. It's strange. I don't understand. Apparently, some guy wants to talk to us. Hello? Yes? That's a hole oh, it's a friend. Apparently, this is a friend. It's probably someone. Oh, okay. He's a <laughs> he's a daredevil because he's eating dirt. Um, but yeah, this place it, it kind of confuses me a whole bunch. I don't, I don't get what it is. It's always it's always kind of puzzled me. We can explore some catacombs, but that's just the thing you can normally do without world adventures. I do like that it's like a world adventure themed catacomb though. That is fun. But yeah, it's just a rabbit hole. Ooh! Ooh! Cute! Indiana passed the rock outcropping that truly resembled the face of a llama. Indiana paused briefly to enjoy the natural spectacle. <laughs> then it continued almost to search for riches. Oh my god, that's loud. <laughs> If everyone knew that the catacombs were filled with things like Phillips and monuments, the catacombs would be picked clean immediately. Good thing Indiana was here to collect the Phillips and monuments first. What was that? Did we get it as an item? Oh! What? <laughs> I've never had this. It seems exhausted from exploring the catacombs. And wants to sit down on an inviting slab of stone that is half hanging precariously over a ledge. If Indiana dies, sit down. There's one. Okay, it's a book. I guess we'll read that one as well. These two watching the stars. These two are adorable. Hi. You guys aren't. Oh, you are. Okay. Indiana! Any girls happening in there? Okay. Your sim enters a large cavern with a clear, re refreshing pool of water on the side of a path that descends deeper into the catacombs on the other. Hmm, do we descend on foot or do we swim? I don't know. Mm. Water can be very dangerous underground, so let's go by foot. Did he get his energy up? No. <laughs> I don't know. Indiana! I don't know what he's doing in there. Doesn't sound good. Indiana leapt across a wide chasm, grabbing the conveniently placed rope, and swung across the gap to grab the ginseng seed perched on the other side. What a find. Yeah, if you could plant it. 
the putrid quality that isn't common. Like, why? Indiana saw an experienced trip. Saw and oh no, saw and experienced terrible, horrible things. Sins were not meant to hear sounds like the ones echoing through the depths of the catacombs, and it may be some time to time before Indiana is comfortable talking about the misadventure. Uh oh, Indiana, <laughs> you. How did you get burnt? How did you get singed in there? Oh, you've got a s horrified. Terrible things have been seen underneath the mausoleum. Explorers beware from the moon. Okay then, well done, Indiana. You've gone and gotten yourself scared. Let's place this in the graveyard and let's go to sleep because that's what you want to do. In the graveyard, you want to. S oh hi. <laughs> there goes out. Go to bed. Just stay in bed. It's fine. I forget midnights come out. At uh, midnights come out. Ghosts come out at midnight. Yep. I'm gonna see you guys when Indiana wakes up. Right. So Indiana's gonna wake up soon, and he is starving, and he is desperately in the toilet. So I'm gonna start selling some relics, even though <laughs> this would hurt Indiana. But um, we should probably be doing this because we need to. Okay. Thank you. Because we need to be able to afford a trip back here, as well as the baby that's on its way, if you didn't know that was happening. <laughs> Indiana's got a baby on the way, and we really need to be using this career for money and not for hoarding things. So, Indiana, you're going to have to start selling things, but yes. Um, was this actually a turquoise? Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, right. Supplies. I think. Wait, no, we should probably get him some food first, because he's starving. Let's go buy some food. Uh, and then yogurt. And then I will choose where you search, because I want you to search outside. Lovely. You need to sit outside in the lovely sun. There we go. Look at that. We have some 7am breakfast, is there? That <laughs> looks a bit more official now. There we go. Look at that. Can we not have that on screen? Pretty. Okay. We should actually see what we are able to buy with the merchant now because we should have some something, right? That we can get. Merchant, where are you? Where'd you go? There she is. Go buy items from her. I go back to no no okay no no not that far. Here we go. We'll buy some things because we should have a few points now. Okay, so we can buy the high energy snacks, which we don't really need. Mummy snacks, right? No one likes to be starving. Just think what it feels like to be dead and not eat for hundreds of years. The scent and taste of a specially coated snack is more than enough to keep mummies off your back. Don't leave home without them. So we'll buy one of them. Maybe two. <laughs> and I think we'll buy a few liquid courages. Because he does get scared very often. And then this is like good food. Super awesome food. So I want to get that away. There we go. Okay. Mm, and then we've got 900 left. But what we really want is to be able to afford you know, yeah, a certificate of partnership with Egypt. And we want to be able to do that with every place we visit because I want to buy houses for all of them. Right? And that'd be cool. I feel like that's end game. Yes, we want to be able to get that. But that that is good. That is good. But you need to be visa level free. And we're not visa level free. We're only visa level up level one right now. <laughs> Which is mad. Season two we're still in visa level one. <laughs> kind of annoying. So we've got the mummy snacks, we've got the potion of courage. And we've got the However you say that, Pemmenikan, I don't know. It's super good flavoured stuff. So Indiana's going to go to the toilet, which is probably a good idea. And then we should probably buy some more supplies, because we're going to run out with the rate that he goes through showers of the cab. Honestly, this guy. Um, I would like to start taking pictures so we can not afford one of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, okay, we need to buy a teddy bear from all the locations. We need to go back to France and get the teddy bear from there. 
because I want our kid to have all of them. Oh, they're going to be so sweet. How long do we have left? Oh, it is today that we're going. Um, I think midnight that you leave. So we should probably just catch up on things, spend the day doing chill stuff, not worrying too much. Indiana, get out of the water. You don't swim in the fountain. You know your mum didn't like it. Sorry, mum. That's a lot of money. <laughs> okay. I like kids' books now. Uh, do you want to learn? We should probably learn photography if we want to be able to buy things. You can read that. Maybe. We can get you to listen to the cooking tabby cast. Tabby cast. And then read the photography so you can learn two skills at once. You like it. Bro, he also really wants to read a baby book, so we should probably do that. But I'm gonna actually, you know what? I want to send him home early because we've got nothing else to do, and I really want to go and see if our kid's gonna be born. And oh boy, <laughs> this video is already getting long, and I think I want to save the baby being born for the next episode. So let's do this. I'll see you guys. When we get home. This is going to be the end of the episode. Right here. Right now. Ending the episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. When we get home. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,